Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Scott. I'm Machine Gun Dad. I guess if I'm on my knees and begging to the YouTube gods, I should ask you to hit and like because that's supposed to help. It hasn't, but please do whatever the F that means. God, it feels like I'm begging. Palms for the poor. Anyway, series that I started was um, used guns or new guns that sell retail for under $250. Um, this all started with my high point, my first high point video, and I thought, you know, I'm kind of being a gun snob. Maybe I ought to look at some other things. I've already done one on the Smith & Wesson. The second gun, which I, I got from a local gun shop in Mercer, Seconds Counts Firearms, and their name and number, hopefully, if I, my software works right, will somewhere appear right in here. They didn't sell this. They sold this to me. They did not give it to me, okay? But they sold it to me at dealer cost, and I am a dealer. They didn't have to do that, so that's why they're giving. I'm giving them the kudos. Because if somebody treats you right, you should always acknowledge it. I don't care who they are, whether it be a private citizen or, an, or, or a retail shop. But I got a Taurus 2GC. Never shot one before. I'm going to put it up here for David, to, and I'm going to roll it so you can see the the writing. Um, I'm not going to get into the details. I'm going to take it out. I only, have, I only came with one magazine. It's one 12-round magazine. I'll shoot a mag out of it, and then we'll let David shoot it out, a mag out of it, and then we'll be right back in here to give you our opinion. Be out in the range. We're going to try the G2C Taurus out. I only have one magazine for this. I'll shoot 12, and then um, I'll pass the gun on to David, and he'll shoot 12. This is again the hodgepodge ammo out of my basement, so who knows what's in here. Uh, we tried to get most of the submachine gun ammo out. Tried, mind you. I have opinions, but I'll save them for the conclusion. Again, I gave David a hodgepodge, even threw a couple steel case, I think, and a lead bullet in there. We'll see how it goes. So if we get a failure to extract or something, that'll be an ammo issue. Go ahead, David. All right. Left target. Left target. So that's a unique shooting experience. We were just outside. We shot the Taurus, what's it, the G2C. I'm gonna, usually I give my review first. I'm gonna let David give his, re, not a review, his opinion. My thoughts and feelings. Yes. Uh, not, not a bad little pistol. A uh, little bit jumpy in the hand. It kind of has this textured uh, grippages here. It's not helped. Um, I thought the trigger was nicer than on on the sigma or whatever the S, uh, the sd9 the yeah sd9 the uh the upgraded sigma is um i was shooting very i think i did what 12 out of 12 you or 12 out of 12. you so, did really well with it so i mean I, I liked it um probably a little bit better than the other like i said but a little jumpy still not you know what were your thoughts i didn't like it at all I know, and I'll tell you why I didn't like it. And, and, and it, it going in, I thought I would like this more than the Smith and Wesson we shot today. After shooting it, it is jumpy, but it is smaller. All right, the sights comparable. The trigger just totally threw my entire game off. When you on this trigger, now this is on the, the Gen Twos, the G Twos. I'm sure that I felt a G Four, I believe, and it it's way better. 
you have this take up, and I'm going to make sure it's cocked because it's only when it's cocked. You have this take up, and you can feel this manual right here, it drags, okay? On all my other guns, on my SIGs and my Berettas, when you get the new start feeling that resistance, the gun's going to go off. So what happened for me was when I could put my finger in the trigger and I get back to that first drag, and it's mechanical, you can feel it. It's a mechanical drag. You can actually hear it. I'm anticipating the gun's already gone off. And then I still have more take up to them up against the sear and it goes off. And the, and the sear in this gun, like the Smith, which I don't believe I mentioned this, but is very vague. So why don't I like this gun? Because I didn't have confidence in my ability to run this gun. Now maybe if I shot it endlessly, I might do better. But let's look at it. Under $250 compared to a high point, David. Oh, I'd, I'd take that all day long compared to the high point. So would I. So would I. My dislike of the trigger, it's hard to offset that this gun is smaller, lighter, and hurls more bullets than the high point. Okay, and it's right about the same amount of money. And apparently, from what I the the shop that I bought this off of, they're saying a lot of G2Cs are coming back in on trade as people were upgrading. So you would probably be able to find one of these for either at the same price as a new high point or even less than a new high point, depending on what how many the gun shop has and how many they you know how much they paid for them. This is. A perfectly serviceable pistol. It does not fit my personal taste, but it's a perfectly serviced pistol. Now, another thing we're going to start with this video series is we're going to start ranking them, and I'm eventually going to make a board of them. So, this one over to Smith and Wesson, yes or no? I would say over to Smith and Wesson, yes. Okay, me, it's the exact opposite. Smith and Wesson had a vague trigger and is bigger. This one had a terrible trigger for me. Other than that, I think they're almost exactly the same. Yeah, there really wasn't much difference. I mean, the feel and everything. And, and to be truthful, the pointability of this is better than the Smith. I didn't come up muzzle high on this one as much. It's just the trigger in this. Um, if you could overcome the trigger, I could see you got a person carrying this gun as a daily carry easily. And a Smith you could do as a daily carry. So, we're not really teaching you anything. We're just giving our opinions. But right now, I would say in the price of a new high point, the used Taurus or the used Smith & Wesson, I think are better investments. Doesn't mean no high point's a bad investment, but if you're looking around in your gun shop before you go out and drop around $200 or so on a new high point, maybe you ought to look into a used gun. And as we go on and we continue, and if I can find more locally used guns, I will, and I'll do more on the series. But right now, I would say for David, it's Taurus, Smith & Wesson, high point. We're not counting the Sterling. Like the Sterling way down, way it, down there. It, it, it probably wouldn't even make the table. It'd yeah, it probably be on the floor. It was bad. It, it was really bad. But Taurus, Smith & Wesson, high point. Me, it's Smith & Wesson, Taurus, high point. But the Smith and the Taurus are very, very, very close. It's, it comes down to personal taste. Can you, can you do without the trigger? You know, I mean, can you deal with the trigger yourself? Either way, it's just our opinion. I hope we're helping somebody. Um, to at least expand to look at other things, you know, when you only look one direction in the gun business, oh, I saw it on such and such a channel, and you go out and buy it, it may not be what you need. Thanks again.